everyone and welcome to the very first video a brand new start who we are in Disney Dreamlight Valley now for this first video we are going to do a full valley tour now I am not going to include um, Eternity Isle just because I haven't decorated it at all and I haven't unlocked all the biomes so it wouldn't be fair let's start off in the plaza right now I haven't cleaned up very well so we might have to clean up a little bit along as we go but it'll be all right I'm sure now to the right we've got Scrooge's star we've got a little seating area I've still got some pumpkins as I I really don't know what else to put there got some wrapping paper now for everyone who likes accessibility I have made all the mining and fishing spots accessible which I know a lot of people find very important so here's Scrooge's store I've made another little extra path which we will go down and straight down here we have Shea Remy cute romantic outdoor seating areas right next to it so I know it's a tight spot but people can <laughs> come and sit down and have a little nice romantic spot let's get rid of this pesky night thorns no one wants to be sitting next to night thorns, do we? And then we've got these like maze type hedge things. There are so many night thorns. I'm so sorry. Probably should have cleaned up before, but oh well, we live and we learn, don't we? We've got paths connecting the meadow and sunlit plateau. I've got everything all connected. More oh, night thorns. Lovely dribbly, thank you. <laughs> right, so in the centre we've got everything lined up I made sure the well in the meadow was lined up with the one in the plaza just so it's all symmetrical even though you can never get anything symmetrical in this game but here we are so there's the downstairs to the meadow which we will see shortly now if we go back up here to the left we have Remy's house now it's not very decorated I will say and I'd put benches here but it's just for the fact that it'll have like a gap and it's it won't look right so I haven't I've just kind of left it if anyone's got any ideas of what I could add that'd be great but so far not really got a clue really another access to the mining spot and with these I've just I made it accessible so if anything spawns I can quickly grab it and run back out now down here is my house. I've kept it as a default house just because I feel like it fits in nicely. To the left we've got an oven in case I need to cook anything quickly. Um, we've got sort of like a little little market stall here which I think is quite cute. To the right of it we've got the recently added multiplayer portal which I wasn't sure where to put it so no space here so I'll just put it here. Got some little outdoor storage chests which I can just quickly grab while I'm in the process of making storage rooms. Here we have Beast's flower garden greenhouse type thing here and it's got some little flower patches next to it. It's got um, the light thing from Cinderella. Over here we've got Obviously this isn't part of it, it's from the Tenty Island, but here we have a nice little picnic area. So we've got a picnic blanket, got a birdhouse, got a gazebo with food on. It's just all very cute. We can pretend this is a barbecue actually. Hi Belle, Belle's here. So that is pretty much the plaza. Now moving on to the meadow. So down the middle like I said, I made everything symmetrical. I added these benches just to make it all look nice. Night thorns, however, do not make it look nice. So down to the left, as you come down, mining spots, accessible. And Dazzle Beach, accessible. Here is what I like to call my little, we'll just call it the little toon town. I've got a hidden Mickey up there, look. Um, but we've got Donald's house, Goofy's house, Mickey's house, and Minnie's house all here. Now you can access that pond just right here. Now next to Minnie's house we've got a little garden that some mushrooms have creeped in. So let's get those. And there is some dirt on the floor, I apologise. But we've got Minnie's little orchard 
garden type thing which is just somewhere so I can put the you know the crops and everything just use up the space and goofy stall fits very nicely in this little spot now across from Minnie's what we call garden <laughs> is Merlin's house I wasn't exactly sure where to put him so I just sort of left him there and here we have the one of the new premium shop houses I'm not entirely sure where to put that one either so I just kind of plunked it here now I wasn't entirely sure what to do with this little space so I just made like a little secret sort of pic picnic area which I just thought it was quite cute just to add a little extra something so to the right we have more mining spots accessible in the plaza now as we follow it around this space is what I sort of use for such as like either decorating for festivities or placing a new house or just just anything really um again mining spots are there and as we follow around we've got the glade of trust now here we have the fairy godmother's house which i thought was it fitted all right quite here so we got her there and then we've built like a massive circular bit around the pond here and then to make sure like this pond was accessible i made like a little garden area so we put the balloon ash that we got for free and a little picnic spot right here another little picnic spot right here just to make it like all cutesy in a little garden sort of area now we're moving on to dazzle beach i am going to start at like the sort of what you'd call opposite end of dazzle beach but right here we come on down to maui and moana's houses so i uh, it's quite overgrown here with like coral and such we've got some coconuts here next to Mona's house we've got her fishing boat and then some rocks leading up to Maui's house now um that is basically it for this side <laughs> um I'm not sure what else to put here so if you've got any suggestion that would be nice uh here we've got the banana trees again didn't know where, where else to put them over here we've got Prince Eric's ship which was from the premium shop and here is where I have my uh, well or fountain, whichever you like to say. Just so it's more accessible to each side, so I don't have to travel too far. And over here, I did run out of pathing, so I will have to make some more. But here we have Stitcher's house, just plonked out of the side. Now, over here is where I've kept all of my... I can't... Pillars, that's it. Uh, all the pillars are kept here just so they're out of the way and I think quite nice again it's massively overgrown but we have uh, Ariel's house right there and straight across we've got Eric's house so they're not too far away from each other and all mining spots and places are accessible over here I have made like a little beach public chill out zone so we've got some nice hammocks and made another little circle bit so someone can you know have a nice sit down look at the beach and oh we've got a lovely lifeguard spot so everyone can stay safe we've got another uh, hammock and another one over there actually and as we come down here to one of the caves trying not to spoil too much for people uh we have a little sunbathing spot just to fill up the area a bit more now from here we will go up to the forest of valor through this way but with the magic of editing we will appear at the other side right so here we are back to the entrance sort of bit at the plaza and let's view the forest of valor now this bit the entrance is absolutely beautiful i absolutely love this it's the beauty and beast castle we've got the lions there uh, i did have some lights going along here but i had to use them for another build uh, we've got the fountain to the right we've got another um little romantic spot and to the left we have another little picnic a spot that could be just a nice little romantic chill out area um 
But this is my absolute favourite bit of the forest. It's got some dreamlike trees next to each other. And across we've got the um the blueberries yeah, blueberry <laughs> blueberry brush I can't say it. Blueberry bushes. Alright. And we have Goofy's stall right here, which is next to the fountain. Now as we go along, we have Buzz's RV over here, which this was actually one of my um, dream snap submission areas which I built up which I think I believe got 4,000 um, but what basically what I did I was let's get it right I was basically just sat here add some filters on and it was basically like that in I had I can't remember which characters specifically but I had a few characters and it was absolutely lovely I really liked that submission so and I just liked the layout so I just I just kept it just because it suited in the forest and I didn't know where else to put Buzz anywhere. Now as we go along to the messy side of things I've kind of just put Vanellope here to move make space for things in the in the forest not the forest my god um in the frosted heights as we go along this rocky sort of bridge we're coming to the other side of the forest now this is again a mess we've just randomly got Woody's carousel place here as well as the magic kingdom castle and the cottage so like about 25 percent of my forest is completed which is of course the beauty and beast castle so we're definitely going to have to fix this up somehow. Um, over here we've got Elsa's cave which we cannot move. Right, as we go past Vanellope's house, we come to Anna, Kristoff and Olaf's house. Um, which, pretty sure it's Arendelle, the Arendelle castle. Um, we've got some eyeshadows here that always appear at the worst times. There's so many of them. Anyway, so for this like little frozen area, I just put some picnic uh, tables, a snowwoman. We've got Goofy Star, the well here. And if I get rid of this, I'll be able to show you I did another little picnic area. I really like doing picnic areas. I just think they're so cute. Now we go across the icy bridge, and we come here to the winter um, castle. It's basically like the one over there, but winter version um so basically i've just kind of left it here uh because i just recently did the uh a dream snap for this week's challenge and i was basically set here it was all set up different i'll show you right now but uh da -da, wait for it to come up there we go here it was um as you can see the build build i put buildings to the side but I wanted to move them back um, but here here it was um, hopefully 4k were they but we'll see but I just thought it was really nice and we'll see how it does but yeah that compared to this is quite a different story but I just sort of left it here and just thought it kind of suits it so we'll leave it there for now now cross the rocky bridge is pretty much nothing we've got the tower of terror here which i used in that dream snap um need to i need to move it back to the forgotten lands but i haven't had a chance yet we've got an igloo and an ice cream stand so yeah <laughs> not much of the frosted heights either right now onto the sunlit plateau so as you enter you are sort of greeted with Mirabelle's house but to your left you are greeted with Wally's house so this is Wally's house I did him like a little garden area so we've got goofy stall and sort of like a orchard um, and gooseberry bushes kind of like what Minnie has uh, I have done sort of quite a bit of gardening in this little plot of land so um, soil, clay and pebbles are all over the place unfortunately but uh, I sort of decorated Wally's garden right here. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Um, 
I also put, did one of my dream snaps here. Um, but I like to use my dream snaps as like, use them for sort of like decoration and growth for the valley. I just think it gives me better ideas. Um, over here we've got the elephant graveyard, which I haven't touched at all. It's just exactly how it came. Now across the bridge we have the mini casita. I absolutely love this house and it just fits the sunlit plateau so so well. I just had to keep it. Uh, we've got the Vitalities Mines right there and over here is like Pride Rock shall I say? Inventory full oh my gosh. Let's quickly eat those mushrooms so we can pick up this furniture pouch. Let's have a look what we've got. Here we go, anything new? Might have that already, I'm not too sure. Um, but here we are is what I like to call Pride Rock, and having Pride Rock here. <laughs> um, so this is obviously where Simba and Nala live. This bit isn't very decorated either. Just for quite simply the fact I don't exactly know what to put there. I'm really not sure what to put there, but we'll, again, honestly, any of these, just any ideas at all will be very appreciated. Now, moving on to the Forgotten Lands. Now, this bit is about 50% decorated. As you walk in, it looks very nicely decorated. Now, to the left of this, we've got a little cherry orchard. We have we have a raven here. This is a this is a raven that I really want to get, so Let's just be right back. <laughs> and we got the raven. Right, there we go, very good. So, we've got a pond here and goofy stall, the well and little arch area. Um, you're able to get through it here if there's anything you need to get. And mining spots, again, ex very accessible. Now here we have the haunted mansion in the, um, the Christmassy Halloween jack skeleton version um to the right we actually have jack skeleton's house his throne and his tree um and we also have a little pumpkin garden here because he is the pumpkin king now to the left of the haunted mansion house we have sort of like a little haunted garden area i just wanted it to be like quite spooky really I wasn't entirely sure what I was going for, but um, yeah, it's just like a little haunted garden. <laughs> and then we have the tree house, which so far we cannot move, which is quite annoying. Um, but hopefully we'll get to move it one day. This was where the Tower of Terror was, but I have some moved it because of that dream snap. And we have, I can't remember what you call it, but the one of the cars off of Nightmare Before Christmas that the mayor drives and this bit basically empty as well and we have I used to have Vanellope's house here too um little garden nagging patch that I just used recently because I'm just waiting for that to disappear and we have these one of the quest line crystal things that we also cannot get rid of yet now on to the last one, the Glade of Trust. Right, we are here outside of the Glade of Trust now. Which way we go, I'm not sure. I'll save that bit for later. Right, as we go down into the Glade of Trust, we are greeted with some lemon trees. To the just the right of it, in this little corner, we have Goofy's stall. And down here, we have the regular Haunted Mansion, which I think quite suits it quite well here. It's kind of got that, like, abandoned... Haunted look, which is, is supposed to have, really. Uh, over here, Mother Gothel's house and the well, and nothing else here, really. So, we'll just, I'll just go show you the, um, the best, well, we'll go to this bit first, then the best bit of the glad. So, over here, uh, we've got Ursula's house. Now, I did have it decorated here, but it got in the way. Um, but that was also from a dream snap, so I just got rid of it just to make a bit more space. Now, here we are, the mushroom house. It is absolutely beautiful. 
I added some little pebble paths leading up to it. Of course it starts raining when we get to this bit. Oh my gosh. Right, um, I added some bushes around. Not too much, basically nothing. But the house itself just does plenty. It's just absolutely beautiful. And that's it for my valley tour. Um, I do hope you all enjoy my valley and hopefully some of you can come and visit it one time. Um, I do play on PS5 so everything's quite limited, annoyingly, but I do have a laptop which I have um, another alt account in Dreamlight Valley which I will be starting up very soon to play from the beginning. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!